the History Channel strikes again. Notice how they didn't even bother to mention the price tag. But in the U.S., at places like Tuella, nerve and mustard agents are being destroyed. How we do that is by taking them apart, uh, draining the chemical agent, and sending all the different pieces to specially designed chemical furnaces. In the past, many nations, including the U.S., carelessly disposed of chemical weapons by simply dumping them in bodies of water. Today, it's a different story. Here at the Tuella site, weapons are closely monitored and stored in 200 concrete and steel reinforced units called igloos. To prevent a deadly spill during transfer to the disposal area, the weapons are loaded onto an explosive and vapor resistant airtight containment unit with a half ton steel hatch. Once inside the disposal facility, factory workers perform the entire dismantling process by remote control to keep from being exposed. This is the control room, and this is where all operations are integrated and managed out of. There's a variety of screens here. Each one of those screens has a specific function. This World War II container is filled with mustard agent in liquid form. The three-quarter inch steel wall container has been in storage for decades. By video camera, the operator guides the container to a machine that uses over 140,000 pounds of pressure to punch a series of holes in its side. After the agent is siphoned off, a maintenance worker cleans any chemical residue. The liquid agent and the container are sent to the furnace. The heart of our technology is in the furnaces that we have here. The liquid incinerator where the agent is actually destroyed operates at 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that destroys the chemical agent in a matter of seconds. The extreme heat is needed to break down the chemical bonds of the agent, rendering it harmless. Our facility is capable of destroying approximately 20,000 pounds or 10 tons of agent in a single day. The goal of the Tuella plant is to destroy all its chemical weapons by 2012. The hope is that the rest of the world will also comply, which would eliminate one of the most deadly weapons of mass destruction. They even failed to say what type of pollutants are emitted from the smokestack.